Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this session, we are going to discuss different types of grammar in NLP that is very important for our examination. So we will discuss all these types with the help of some real life examples. So now let's just start the session. As we have already discussed about NLP, so under natural language processing, we have different types of grammars that are used to understand and generate human language correctly. So the first type we have is context free, uh, free grammar that is simply known as CFG. Another type is dependency grammar. And the third type we have, have is phrase structure grammar that is simply known as constituency grammar. So now let's just talk about context free grammar first. So as its name implies, it is a grammar in AI that is generally context free. That means it is a set of rules that tells how to build correct sentence. It is called context free because the rule works the same way no matter where the word appears. That is why it is called context free grammar. Right? Here each rule tells how one part of sentence like a noun phase can be broken into smaller parts. Now let's take an example first. The example can be the dog bark. Okay, here if we talk about context free grammar format, NP is the dog, VP is barked. We have already discussed about NP and VP in the previous section, right? And if you haven't watched that video, you can check the description box. I have already added the link there, right? So here NP is the dog and VP is barked. So, S means the dog barked. This sentence is valid according to context-free grammar. Now, let's talk about why context-free grammar is useful. So, basically, it helps NLP tools check if sentence is grammatically correct or not. It is used in parsers to understand the sentence structure. I hope everything is clear to you till now. Next we have is dependency grammar. So dependency grammar is about how each word in a sentence is connected to another word. There is always a one main word. There is always one main word. Usually there is always a verb. And all the other words depend on it directly or indirectly. Let's take one easy example. Ravi eats mangoes. Right? Here, eats is the main verb that is head here. Ravi depends on the eats. Right? That is the subject. And mangoes are the object that is also dependent on Eats. This is how dependency grammar actually works. Simply we can, uh, we can write it as Ravi and Mangoes both are dependent on the head, the verb that is eats. This shows who is doing what. Who, who means Ravi is doing what means eating mangoes. Right? This shows who is doing what, which is very important for understanding the meaning of any statement. Now let's talk about why dependency grammar is useful. So basically students, it helps AI understand the meaning of a sentence better. It is used in translation, question answering and also used in chat boards. Now let's talk about the third grammar that is phrase structure grammar that is also called constituency grammar. So it breaks a sentence into phases or chunks or we can say it always this type of grammar always divides a given sentence into group of words and these group of words are called the phases or called the chunk, chunk, 
चंक्स ठीक है ईच फेज प्लेज अ रोल लाइक अ सब्जेक्ट और एन एक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सब्जेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड नाउन एंड वर्ब राइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल इन प्रीवियस सेशन सो इन दिस ग्रामर ईच फेज प्लेज अ रोल लाइक अ सब्जेक्ट और एन एक्शन example of phases can be np that is your noun phase vp that is your verb phase and pp is your propositional phase if we talk about noun phase it is a group of words that act as noun that is called noun phase group of words that acts as verb are called verb phase and if we talk about propositional phase it starts with a proposition like on in at under all these are what all these are the propositions so proposition phase always starts with a proposition like on in at under etc let's take an example first the tall boy is running quickly i am writing a statement here the tall boy is running quickly here noun phase is what noun phase is your the tall boy it is what it is the noun phase the verb phase is your let me change the this okay the verb phase is is running quickly it is it is your verb phase and it is your noun phase right this grammar type shows how sentences are built from meaningful chunks it helps natural language processing tools do chunking chunking means grouping the words right it helps nlp tools do chunking and also useful for summarizing speech recognition and grammar correction clear everyone so i hope every point is clear to you so here these are the four important types of grammars under nlp now we have difference between these three if we talk about context free grammar it focuses on rules for valid sentence structure it always focus on the valid sentence structure the cat eats fish key use in nlp is parsing or rule checking basically context free grammars are used to check the parsing and to check the sentence structure rules if we talk about dependency grammar it focuses on word to word relationship like she loves chocolates here she is dependent on this and chocolate is also dependent on this particular term right dependency parsing it is called another is parse structure phrase structure grammar so breaking into meaningful phases the small dog barked loudly it is chunking or syntax tree we can say it in simple words right in case of phrase structure grammar sentence is made up of noun phase and verb phase so this particular thing you have to remember for your examination clear other than this we have context sensitive grammar that focuses on it is basically rules depend on the context whatever rules we are using in ai system depends on the context of the given statement theek hai it uses complex grammar and less used as compared to other three grammars another grammar can be regular grammar here pattern matching is done tokenization text matching is done lexical functional grammar it combines form and functions translation grammar checking tree adjoining grammar is also there that is its key feature is it is a tree based with more power than context free grammar so you have to just remember these three points other than this these four grammars are also important but there is no need to 
स्टडी रीड एवरी पॉइंट इन डिटेल सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन